Hi there, it's Shell and Clint and Mom are inside. Oh, I'm back out in the studio. It is Saturday morning. Uh, I ended up not feeling very good yesterday, but i um, feeling much better today. And we're going to continue with our scraps because we're going to use those suckers. But um, I don't know if I told you yesterday while, while I was doing the video, I shut one of the windows and then I lowered the other window. Well, this heater we have, it has to have a certain amount of uh, air movement or it'll go off. So, yeah, that was off this morning. <laughs> Story of my life. Okay. Uh, I thought we'd do pockets today just because. Let me show you. <clears throat> Again, we're just pulling from our scrap buckets. And what I do when I'm doing a project, I just kind of put things in here. And yesterday when I was cleaning up, I put all my circles in here. And really, I think I want to put those like somewhere else so I can remember to use them. Uh, but yeah, go ahead and, you know, if you're cutting and you think, oh, I'm going to, you know, want to save this piece, get you a little bucket or I think Miss uh, Gail, Gail Augustinelli. She's one of, one of my besties. She um, separates her even more than these. And But look at these. I have some 6x6 six six that's in here. Sometimes I just throw things in here. So we're going to pull from some of the larger scraps is what I was... It's my, my uh, point. And we are going to make some pockets like that one. I always have... I know I'm going to do pink, you know. Ooh, but look at that. So cute. Yeah, so we're just going to pull some things, make some pockets. And my goal with this um, scrap tutorial, you know, why I'm doing these is one of my goals is to complete the project. So not... You know, not just have a pocket and leave it generic. I want to get these totally done, put them in my stash, so that when I'm doing a journal, I can come back and, um, you know, I can come back and just pull them directly, use them, and not feel like I have to make a lot of ephemera, if that makes any sense. So, I'm just kind of looking to see what else is in here. I have some doilies. I don't know they're in here. <clears throat> Obviously, I'm not super organized. <laughs> <laughs> it's me guys it is me so but I did have to come out here I got a it's called an arrow ski you guys should look it up I'll link it below but man if you want a good workout that thing I've been using it every day for almost a month and I tell you it still gives me a good workout and it's simple right now I think it's on sale just kind of looking through here and seeing what I would want to make pockets try not to kind of like that is it um, fly lady <laughs> she says don't pull out more than what you can you know work with and put away at the end of the day so my goal is to not pull out tons and just kind of plan on four or five items each day 100% so we'll see how that works so yeah pockets and we're just gonna pull from the scraps as far as I know you know I I'm okay with pulling other items to embellish but I do want to complete these so I uh, hope you guys are doing well we mom didn't get up until late she um, sis got her a um, mattress heater for her birth for Christmas and mom's like oh that was so nice she said but I lost control she had thought she had unplugged something else and she couldn't understand why it was getting cold and uh, yeah she had accidentally turned it off so she said it was so nice so this is my sister and she's four years younger than I am and I love her to death uh, the pockets I'm gonna make um, 
for the most part I'm going to do five inch pockets. I might do some that are smaller because if I do like a TN then you know I'm going to account for that which would only be like four and a half so I'd probably do some four inch pockets as well. And I thought I would see what this one is. This one is five inches so and then I like about a three inch pocket. You can make it, of course, any size you want. But you know, just kind of cutting down some stuff. And then I'm going to go ahead and make um, some four inch pockets, like I said, just because. We'll see if I can get on a roll here or not. <clears throat> and how many we can actually make in an hour. I did have one person who said, um, that she is happy with long videos even longer than an hour so I guess she's okay with things that we're doing <laughs> I'm sorry I don't remember the name of the person look at this one isn't that beautiful I'm definitely gonna make a pocket out of this I love this part and you can make them longer they don't have to be you know just the three inches or whatever but and I just want to make sure that I have that on the side I'm going to do a 5 inch pocket here. I just love that for a pocket. And it's going to be like a half page pocket, which is fine. I mean, you know, do whatever size you want to do. You know what you're going to like. Same thing with this. I love this part. This one, I think I'm going to do it three, maybe three and a half. I do like varied sizes you just never know what you're going to want, you know, in your book. You might be like, oh, I wanted to do that. I'm not going to do that one. It does not inspire me. And then that's all I pulled. So <clears throat> we're going to work on those. See what we want to do with each one of them. Again, we're just, just being creative today, right? So uh, immediately I think of a doily right here. I don't know why. <laughs> I kind of hear that a lot today. But, you know, something like that. It just feels like it needs something to take up that space, especially because it's a pocket. Now, when I am making pockets, my thing is I try to um, try not to put too much bulky on it. Though, if you've seen some of mine, you know, they might have something bulky. But I do want something to be kind of, um, let's, you know what, let's put that on with, um, stick glue. My favorite, hopefully it's not frozen, uh, Scotch Create. But yeah, I was getting so warm sitting in the living room. I feel so bad for mom because I'm like, I'm hot. Let's turn it down. And she's like, I'm freezing. Let's turn it up. <laughs> uh, so I turn it down when I exercise on the aero ski. And then um, I turn it up, you know, after I've pulled down a, a bit. I know I'm awful. Poor mom. But today she didn't get up until later, so I'd already cooled down and we turned it back up. So that was good. I'm considering moving it into my bedroom. We just don't have a lot of room in my bedroom, in our bedroom. So we have Chloe in there, which is one of our cats. And then we have, um, you know, like a cat tower for her. And it's not that large of a bedroom. Our house is a hundred years old. So it's kind of, you know, you kind of, like there were no closets. <laughs> you know, I think there's two closets in the whole house and one in both bedrooms and that was it. So yeah, so we have to be creative. Right now it works. It's in the middle of the living room floor, but like in the middle on one side, so. But anyways, I like it, and I can get going on that thing. I haven't taken any, like, classes. They do have, like, exercise classes for it. And yesterday, because I wasn't feeling the greatest, I didn't eat a lot. And then it said I lost two pounds. 
So that tells you how horrible I've been eating. <laughs> I know I'm awful. Okay, I am going, instead of worrying about that stick, I'm just going to kind of go in here and kind of do that. You could use regular, you know, doilies. They don't have to be paper doilies. And truthfully, I have tons of paper doilies. I think I'm going to wrap them up and put them in the store. We got them um, from an estate sale. I probably have hundreds, seriously. My thing is, they're longer, you know, than the page. But some people said they don't care if it's folded, so figure it, figure out the best way to do that. Isn't that cute, though? I think it'd be cute over here with another butterfly. And then maybe just a saying on it. And on these, if you wanted, you could do a thumb hole. Do I want? Let me think. <clears throat> I think I do. So I just kind of put it in the center. When I have it in the thing. <clears throat> Sorry. I just kind of make sure I have the same on both sides. And then I do want to ink this one. See what I can find nearby here. I haven't really unpacked all my stuff that was in the house. So, I'm going to have to go find it, huh? I have my thing there, but it doesn't look like I have. Okay, let me get my um, ink so we can ink this. I'll be right back. Okay, I don't see my vintage photo and I didn't want to spend hours looking for it. So I'm going to use frayed burlap, it's just a darker, you know, it's not dark, it's just, it's almost got like a green tint to it, but I just pulled it from my, it's not one I use that often, but I did just want to kind of work on these and get them done, so I do need to do that. Uh, the ink blenders are created by my husband, Clint. If you have seen them around, they're from us. And, uh, yeah. Uh, we do have some in the store. Right now, he is working on blanks, so it might take a, you know, a little bit longer than if he had them done. But it's too cold to do them outside, so he had to set up something inside the house. And wood goes everywhere. That's cute. And that was enough of a color. Uh... This one is a pine. There's only one left in the store if you're interested in the pine. This one is a uh, cedar. And then most of them are aspen. And some of them are really light. And then some of them are dark. So it just depends. And yes, I have one of each. Well, probably even more than that. What do I have? There's one. I have this one because it's got a heart in it. And then... <laughs> How many of these do I have? <laughs> uh, so anyways, they're special for some reason or another and uh, Clint gives them to me. This one was like one of the first ones he ever made. And so that's why it's got a different shape now than the ones that he makes. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're all a little different even if they were created, you know, recently because they're all hand carved okay now that we're done with that and giving our giving my hubby a little shout out uh, we're going to continue with this I think I do want like a um, maybe some lace or something here just to kind of give that a little bit of height or interest have my scraps of fabric look at me I got scraps all over the place let me grab this one down here this one's a vintage. And have I cut anything off of it? I hate to cut up the vintage ones, you know? Even though, yeah. No. I, I just can't do it. Because <laughs> I could put that like on the front of a cover. Okay, that's okay. I do have some over here. So let me just cut off a piece of something over here that will work. keep my eye on the uh, 
heater, make sure that heater does not go out because I didn't raise the the um, thing any. I think I want that rose, even though you won't really be able to see it. You know when, because something's going to be on top of it. Isn't that pretty? I do have to admit, though, these scissors are like ice. <laughs> I'm so cold. <laughs> I tell you. That's kind of cute. I mean, you can still see the um, thing there. And then I want like a butterfly. So let's look for our butterflies. I'm going to kind of collage today, it looks like. Let's see if I can get all these guys done or not. how many butterflies I have. I would really like one that would kind of, you know, blend in with that. I may need to get more butterflies. I need to go through my stash before I purchase anything. Does anyone have a, like, no, no purchase January? <laughs> you know, we're not buying anything this in January. I don't. I don't have that kind of. Probably won't buy a lot in January. We don't work a lot, so that's. I don't know. I don't like it at all. Okay. Maybe if I had the right color. That one's cut off. Or maybe you know, like a small one. I don't know. Okay, hold on. Let me look through a couple more books and see what I have. This one has like flowers and stuff in it. Would something like that work? This is what takes the longest, isn't it, when you're making ephemera? I just have to see if there's anything that just jumps out at me and says, use me. Nothing in there. And then I have this one with big butterflies. And I definitely don't want one that big. Tim Holtz. Different pieces in here. This is one I made, a book. Because I had all these big pieces that I needed a home for them. So. I have a couple more. Hold on. <laughs> I tell you. I really need nothing. You know what? Um, let's see what we have here. Here's some butterflies. That's what I was looking for. Maybe a little bit smaller. I like the color on that. Let's see if I have anything else here. I mean... I think that one could work. Definitely don't need any. Tim Holtz peoples. <laughs> I tell you guys. Sometimes I just yeah. Oh wait, I have another one. This one though I think has mainly stamps and stuff in it. But a stamp could be pretty on that too. Yeah, this one's small. Another one I made, created. Of those butterflies, but I think they're too shiny for... Those are like on walls. Ooh, this was from a digital, I think, and I can't remember whose digital it was. Let's look. That might be exactly what I need. I don't know. Sorry, I can't remember whose this was. I'm thinking it was um, Rachel's. Is that right? Okay, let's just look and see what we want to do. Is there anything? I think this one's too big. 
that one's too plain. We could either color it. Do I even have any colors in here? I have my Copics. I don't know, guys. I'm not happy with it. So, we're going to set it aside for now. And we'll kind of come back to it, I think. My goal, like I said, is to get it finished, though. <laughs> it's not frozen. It's just really... Um, getting low. I don't think it's frozen. I have my friend, friend Lindsay's um, heater on my feet. Is awesome she has her own studio too and she's like Michelle this is what I got for my studio and it's so nice and you're right Lindsay I love it love 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 it okay that'll hold it on temporarily let's just move on because otherwise I'm just gonna sit here and not get anything else done right okay this one what if we put do a thumb. I really like the thumb. What if we put um, another lace here and then like a uh, Tim Holtz person? I heard my honey bunny walking around. That's kind of cute. That's like a perfect size, isn't it? And I just use an old um, book. You can save the pages. If you'd like to. I have a lot of stuff that, yeah. Like I said, I have to be kind of choosy on what I'm saving right now. But I think Gail saves every one of hers and makes, um, if you don't know Gail, I do have it listed down below. She's amazing. And a bunch of you, some of you have come from her channel and some of you have found her from my channel. So I did meet Gail back in the, a couple years ago when she had her meet and greet in Denver. And we had so much fun. And I met my my dear friend. Uh, Sue. Hi Sue if you're watching. Such a sweetheart. Her and her hubby. Okay. I'm trying to make these faster. I don't know if, that, if I'm getting there or not. <laughs> I tell you. Just... These are the smaller guys, so, oh, I do want to ink around this, I think. And I'm going to put a lid on this before I forget. Oh, I hear Clint. He's going to be making a huge mess, but it's just in the porch. So that's a good thing. This color actually it's not my favorite but you know compared to nothing Ooh, I really like that okay let's put a little person on it <coughs> kind of clean up my mess I've got a huge one right now okay sorry Cute. Okay. 
um, let's see. I do kind of have these organized in the size. Didn't I have more? Maybe it's in that other one. thing about Tim Holtz, these are uh, his paper dolls, is they come in many different sizes. So, you know, even the same style, like the same little girl, could be in a smaller size. Ooh, I like that. Okay. We're going for it, guys. Like I said, we're going to try to knock some of these out. Uh, I do want to color around the bat, and I think I'm going to use this one. Brought my Copics back out here because I have other ones inside. So I'm just going to kind of see. Oh, and here's a piece. This kind of helps them to stand out a little bit, and so I do like to just go around the edges really quick. You don't have to spend a lot of time doing this. You could just use your ink, your um, distress ink and your blender. But if I have them, I may as well use them. You know. And it kind of helps them to kind of pop off the page. I don't know if you can see that, but it really does make a difference. I'll put that up here. That way I can just pull the same one every time. I really like that. I think that's really cute. So, call this one just about done. Cute. And I am going to go ahead and put just a little bit more um, shadow down here. And that just helps it to keep it from looking like it's just standing in the you know, standing in the middle of an empty page or whatever. And then I'm going to put a saying there because I feel like this one needs a saying and I think I'm going to do it in black. So this one is Small Talk. <clears throat> and then I just kind of think about which, you know, how long I would do it if I want it cut like in two. Then I try to find, um, one that would work to be cut like that. So I'm just going to lighten that just a little bit, darken it, cut it in half. We're fearless, independent, and original. And I always just go ahead and put extra glue just to make sure it stays and because I, I know I have my hands all over it and stuff. And I kind of want something just right here. I was thinking about one of these little guys. And I don't know why. Maybe like some, a pink one. What's fun is you can just kind of, you know, you can just play around and do your own thing. Just feel like it needs something there. And then, there's one more thing. Put a little bit of a little bead here, I think. Just kind of in the center. I think I'm going to put a yellow one. This is a little picker upper thing. And it kind of will grab a hold. You're supposed to grab a hold of it. It might be cold. Warm up, warm up. I 
want him to stick to it. <laughs> too cold. There we go. Those would be cute down here too. But I think that's enough for now. I mean, you can always add to it later, but I just don't want to add a lot of stuff, you know. And I don't want a lot of bulk. One is done, guys. Totally done. Okay, move on, Michelle. Move on, move on. We have this one still. I'm still thinking about you. Uh, this one's cute. Do we want? We do. And for my fingers, I am using my finger tabs. I am using a two inch punch. You can certainly use any size that you like, you know. And if I was to not finish one of them, what I would do is maybe put it in a different pile. I would put like my ephemera in one pile that is totally 100% done. So, you know, but if I have some time, you know, and I like I don't finish the one butterfly one, I would put that in another pile of ones that I still need to finish. And that way, maybe when I'm organizing or decorating, I can kind of pull from there. Does that make sense? This one, I really like the addition of these doilies. And, I mean, you don't even have to do a lot, you know, if you don't want to. Just kind of, kind of seeing what, let me put up some stuff quick. I don't put it up immediately, it just doesn't seem to get done. I just don't think I'm going to use those. Okay. guys have any plans for the day for the evening it is New Year's Eve today um, yeah we don't <laughs> sometimes we go to my friend's house but I think they're either out of town or they have their her kids which isn't that big of a deal sometimes we'll still go over but we have snow we have so much snow okay what are we gonna do with this one Maybe we could just put like another pocket. I'm thinking, you know, what else would I do? What about a green pocket? I love uh, red and, or yellow and green. Pink and green. <laughs> Not the right shade though. Let me see what I have. Maybe we'll just put another little pocket and kind of, you know, try to think outside the box. My cutter, cut it down to about the size I think I would like it to be. That's actually really cute. And then I'm gonna go with a smaller. Again, I just kind of look and make sure this side poking out as much as this side. I don't get it perfect all the time, but it's not bad. And then we can put something there to decorate it. And I think I want to sew that. Do I? We won't sew it for today's video, but you could sew it. And if you've been with me for a while, I've even put, you know, like a smaller pocket here and then even a smaller on top of it. So you could do whatever you wanted to do. Let's see, what do I want to do? I don't know. <clears throat> Ooh, that's kind of pretty. Would we want to like layer, layer, layer some, um, some of these. I don't have any green ones, do I? That might be cute. Oh, but I do have this. Mm, I don't know. Let me see, where's the next size? This one is one and a half, so I need the two. 
which I think would be too big. No, that's two. And then I have a one, I think. Or maybe I don't. Let's do, oh wait. Like that, maybe. Okay, I'm, like, I'm not aiding it. Let's see, maybe an, something under it for like um, lace or something. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, look at that. Okay. There's my other scissors. color though. Maybe if I kind of did it like that. I don't know. Ooh, what if I, I think I figured it out. Let's do it like this. Can I make it into like a little banner? Put it like this. This could go here. And then we could put a saying across it. I like it. Okay, we're do we're doing it. I don't know if it'll be my favorite, but we're going for it. Put a little bit. This just kind of helps it to blend in a little. I like the pink one. Kind of fun though to see what you have and what you can kind of create out of it, you know. Come up with. I don't even know where this was. It was just in my piles of scraps. That's cute. I like the colors. I think they go well. And I'm okay with that kind of coming off the edge. We're going to try to make that kind of centered. That's awfully cute. Okay, I like it. Actually, um, this, no, what was I going to do? Same. Um, do I want black or do I want white? I think I want white. So we'll see if this one has anything in it. Um, I want something small. What about make today count? That's kind of small. Just because. Mm. Let's do make today count. Don't overthink it. Right? telling myself. Don't overthink it, Michelle. You're not going to get anything done if you overthink it. And then I am going to cut this into three. This one does say make today count. Call that one done. So I'll just have to make a little tag to go in there and then of course you know a tag for the page. Okay we've got two done. Where's my other one? It's right here in front of me. <laughs> Ignore me. Okay I put them put them aside over there. Let's see. And then we have these another circle. 
So we have four of these. So let's just see if we can kind of pull them all together. Um, for the smaller ones, these would be like for TNs. Or you could just keep it for your larger journals. It totally depends on what you want to do. What size, size you're looking for. Sometimes I have smaller pages in my journals. So I might want a smaller um, pocket, you know. Okay, let's see. Let's ink them all. We're doing a uh, assembly line here. Can we get what we would have four, five, six, seven done in an hour? That's what, 40 minutes? So that gives me about 20. We can do it, I think. I think, I think. They don't have to look alike, but I think they could because if I was pulling for, you know, a journal and I found two that were similar, I would not, um, most likely I wouldn't pick both of them. So really you could kind of make them similar, couldn't you? I think you could. Hope you guys have pulled out your scraps and you're joining me on this fun little, um, use up your scraps tutorials or playtime or craft with me, whatever you want to call it. Because I'm enjoying it. Okay, we have tons of these guys. I don't really want white. But I think if I put it on there, maybe like, maybe like that, uh, it's doubled or tripled or something, so I'm going to pull one of these off. But I think I could, um, you know, rub that over it, and I think it would be okay. Let's pull this off. So let's ki kind of visit that. It'd be cute if too if you put it like this on both sides. Where is my paper towel? I lost it. <laughs> I do have two pairs of scissors. One is for paper only, and one is for fabric. And I have them marked for what works for me. I do have fabric on. <laughs> I just marked them and I was like, oh, I need, you know, and then Clint had a pair, which he has since lost, misplaced, or maybe I did, I don't know, it might be around here somewhere, and uh, I didn't want to mix mine up with his, so that's kind of what I did, is I marked them. That had an extra piece in there that should doesn't belong, but yeah, I have tons of doilies, guys. Okay, here it is. That's cute, and if you put doilies on each one of them, but don't put them on exactly the same, then, you know, right away you're getting different differences. Okay, there we go. Let's move this. I'm not sure what else I'll use this for. <clears throat> Let that dry and we'll move on to one of the other ones. Maybe. Let's see. I do have this piece left. Maybe at the bottom. That would be kind of cute. But then I'd feel like I have to put something here and something here. Let's just try it. It's not going to hurt nothing, right? I'm not going to pull out my book. I'm just going right on this. Let's see how it, how it works. It's almost like perfect. 
in the cut and everything, which is kind of, I did not plan it that way. But see, these could go together, but because they're so different, um, you wouldn't feel like you're, you know, doing your same, same thing each time. Does that make sense? I don't know. I don't know if it does or not. <laughs> okay. My hands are sticky. Um, do we want anything else? I mean, I do like these, but we don't have to put lace on all of them. Just whatever, you know, you're looking for. What if I just did like a little tiny piece just to um, kind of incorporate it? Like a little collage piece just to use it up. That's kind of cute. I really like that actually. Here's another piece. And that's one reason it's good to revisit your scraps, you know, because you could really come up with something cute. And these scraps of doilies are getting used instead of us just making, you know, more scraps. So I'm letting them kind of dry and then I'll come back with my art glitter glue, which is my favorite glue. I was going to tell you, if you go on to buy Art Glitter Glue, don't purchase it right now. Um, it's so cold. If, and if you purchase directly from their website, which I did not link, but I linked it from Amazon. But tr trust me, if it freezes, it's almost like styrofoam in front of, <laughs> inside of a um, bottle. You cannot get it out. I have experienced this firsthand. <laughs> Once when it froze out here, my uh, art glitter glue froze. And yeah, it's just like styrofoam. You can't dig it out of the bottle. The bottle's ruined, the glue's ruined. So um, pay attention to where you're ordering from. Maybe get something local until it warms up if, you know, if they're going to send it to like a, a uh, cold climate. Sorry. Just thinking. But yeah, you do not want to, you'd just be wasting your glue, you know, your money if you purchase right now. And if it froze. I don't know how people on Amazon actually send it, but I know the off the actual company will not mail it if there's freezing temperatures from between here and there, and they're out of um, Arizona. And if you're in Arizona, that's not a big deal, but if you're in Colorado where it's cold, like it is here. So I'm just kind of touching up where my glue stick didn't make it and just make sure that it's going to stay down and look nice, you know. And then we'll trim it up a little. They actually look cute. I mean, if I was doing, you know, build my stash and just build it and go from there, I would probably just put these in my stash for later, but I really like the idea of just getting them done and, you know, being ready for the next journal that may or may not come about, you know, the next one in, in the future. Eventually I will use them, and if I don't, I can always either give them away or put them in my Etsy shop or whatever. Some people don't like to make ephemera, which I love it one of my favorite things to do. So, did I tell you my brother's still in the hospital? Anyways, he's still in the hospital. He now has COVID. And he said he's feeling fine. He's just tired. And I think he's just tired from, you know, in the hospital. You can't sleep in the hospital. It's like I can't get any sleep. So, that's going on. And then my sister-in-law, she's bedridden. And, uh, 
she can't he said that she might end up in a nursing home he takes care of her so I don't know what's going on I'm just what's going on today oh no okay <laughs> okay well if that's what you say might leave those white I actually like that now you know what Let's see if I have something to put in the center She's too tall. Oh, look at these little girls. They're so cute. Way too tall. I have minis around here somewhere. Um, let's see. I kind of want um, people with some lace or, you know, something that seems like they would go together. That's actually really cute. Okay, I might go with that on that one. Let's look at the other ones real quick. That's kind of cute. And I could just leave it like that. It doesn't even have to have anything else, maybe. We'll see. Let's see what else I have. Oh, here's a little boy and girl playing dress up. That's cute, too. Maybe on this one. I really like the hat. If I put the hat like over here, then it wouldn't like interfere with anything, would it? That's precious. I love that. Okay. I don't think I've noticed that one before. Here's a little girl sitting, which I think would be adorable on this one. And I think we're going to just use Tim Holtz guys on most of these. Oh, these are precious too. Too big. Too big, too big. Let's see, do I have one more? Come on, come on. Oh, she's cute. Okay, let's do it. So yeah, that's what's been going on in my life. <laughs> my brother's just I don't know, he's like, I don't know what's what's going on. Like, what are they testing you for? I don't know. Okay. So I'm just kind of... He just doesn't really, you know, tell you anything. And he's older than I am. He's a couple years older. He's my older brother, but he's not like the typical older child where they're always in control. Mom said that I got that role. Because <laughs> I'm like, I'll take care of it. What do you need to know? You know. Find out what's going on. Then I update everybody. If I feel like they need updated. And my brother's like, I don't know what's going on. It's always been that way. It's kind of like, a, you know, he kind of takes after my dad. My dad is, has always been the same way. I don't know. When I told dad that sis had a stroke, sis had a stroke like a year ago when she had surgery. He's like, I said she's having a hard time remembering. And he's like, I have that problem every day. And I'm thinking, you know, this is your daughter who just had a stroke who might not survive it. And you're making jokes. I don't know. I have an issue with my dad. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, he is still alive. You don't hear me talk about him very often. He's very indifferent. His kids, yeah, he doesn't pay as much attention to his kids as he does everyone else. And my mom was the same way. I don't get it. Just like, oh, well, I'm close to this guy and this guy and this guy, and no, they're not my kids. That's just the way my parents are, have been. Mom's been gone for six years now, almost seven I think. But yeah, anyways, I'm just, yeah, it puts me in a bad mood when I think about <laughs> Ignore me guys, sorry I didn't mean to bring anybody down. So anyways, yeah. <laughs> uh, everybody here is doing well, Mom. Lida is Clint's mom, and she is, 
she slept in today but she got that heater you know the mattress heater and she was like oh it feels so good now, i don't think we need one we got you know a new mattress a while back and man that thing's a lot warmer than the one that we <laughs> used to have i can't believe how much warmer it is it just blows me away I'm like it's hot in here <laughs> But our other one, you know, it was so thin because we'd had it for so many years. That is so cute. I love her. You know what this one needs is like some flowers or something over here. But yeah. My dad does live right down, you know, the street from my brother. So, I don't know. I don't know if he's, you know, help him, helping him out any or whatever, but I shall quit talking about it. Okay. Ugh. Tired a little bit. I got up at 4 and Clint slept in until almost 6, I think. Slept in a little bit later, you know. I just like these. It kind of makes it, um, like I said, not feel like they're floating. I'm just using art glitter glue for this. He's so cute though. I mean, they're just, it's a cute little um, picture. So I think Tim Holt said these were like lost relatives. So they just have a lot of, you know, cute little guys that he kind of did out of cardstock or like out of chipboard or something and I tell you they've been used a lot some of my favorites for sure oh we're get we're getting close aren't we okay let's put sayings on it and then I want to put some kind of um I don't know some kind of flower maybe one might be a little a little bit longer I'm gonna kind of look through here real quick I would really love these if they were in pink here's a white again they are bulky so you have to take that into consideration They're cute. Pink and white. Sorry, I just got on got on a tangent there, didn't I? <laughs> okay. I just thought these would be really cute. I think I got these from um, Hobby Lobby these particular I'm really not a hundred percent sure just any flower would work you know might need more nah we'll make do with five but man the snow there were some accidents just up the road from us. Um, we live on a major highway, essentially. I mean, it come, goes through Utah, and um, it's really the only way to get down to Colorado, southern Colorado from here, you know, so. That's cute. Okay, we're going to call that good, that done. I could put saying here but I'm not going to I'm just gonna leave it this one let's put a saying I think that would be really cute maybe black letters I don't know choose to see the good stuff live create throw kindness around like confetti I just love that saying throw kindness around like confetti I'm going to color it And do I want one, two, 
think just two. And I thought it would be really cute to go ahead and put some of these little guys just maybe like across the bottom, maybe white or cream, just kind of bring in her little dress. And I don't know why, it just was a thought. Make this thing work if it's warmer. <laughs> Just a little pick pickup tool. There we go. That's cute. Okay. Press those down. Sometimes the art glitter glue it takes just a minute to kind of set. So press those down a couple of times. This one's really cute. It does need something over here, I feel. I already glued it down, didn't I? <laughs> Ignore me, guys. Uh, what about... Let me see. I have this doily. This is... Oh, if I had a little one, though, that would be really cute. Let me see what I have here. Tatting... Lida has made me so much tatting, and I tat as well, but of course hers is uh, well known because, look at that, that's so cute, where's that one? Ooh, I might put that on there, that's cute, okay. You never know until you just kind of mess around with it, huh? Oh, I like this. I'm going to put that one just there. I like it. I asked Lydia to make some more of those, but she hasn't got a chance to yet. Oh, I really like that. But I feel like it needs like something pink underneath. Um... scraps here, which I love. <laughs> I tell you, you never know what you're going to find, do you? You guys like me? Oh, I didn't even know I had that. Yeah. This could go like in a really frilly. I tell you, I keep losing those tatting pieces. Really frilly um, journal. Wouldn't that be pretty? Like a wedding journal or something. And then there is a saying I wanted to add, and it's like, I'm happiest when we're together. Do you guys remember that one? I don't know. Here it is. <laughs> That's funny. I'm happiest when I'm with you. And I was thinking that would be perfect for this one. It's kind of... I'm going to cut it into three. How cute! Okay, I love that one. Isn't that precious? Okay. And then this one, do we just need a saying or what do you guys think? I, I know I want to put this here, so let, let me go ahead and get this guy. Let me 
use this just to This is fabric tack, fabric glue, and sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. But that will kind of go on. On here. I like that. Might, ha might need a saying at another time, but right now, that actually turned out really cute. Okay. I got it done, huh? Okay. A saying. Though I really like how this one looks. But I don't think I would want that like on both sides. So maybe. It's always the small pieces that make the picture. This one is really long. It's always the small pieces that make the big picture. So. Maybe I can do it like this is what I'm thinking, the big. Yeah, maybe we'll do it like that. I don't know. Sometimes I'm not sure how to read them, you know. Because I read left to right, <laughs> obviously. And uh, so sometimes I'm thinking, oh, do I read, you know, that way with these, but it'll be fine. It will be fine. It's always the small pieces that make the big picture. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna call it good. I like it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. Not like a package. <laughs> Gwendolyn. Oh. But yeah, I think we've probably did our time. Let's see what we came up with. Hope you guys came up with some. This one, I love this one. I think that one turned out so cute. They all did, really. This one is really simple, but lovely. And then we have these two as well. So we did pretty good in just over an hour. What do you guys think? I think they turned out so cute. Let's make that one up. There you go. I really like them. Um, I like them all. I don't know if I have one that I like better than the other. This one does need a saying, so maybe we'll add that, and then that one would be 100% done. But I just need, yeah, it needs, just needs something, right? I think I'm going to do a white one. I'm just going to grab one. No beauty shines brighter than that of a good heart. Cut it in half. Because I just can't leave it. <laughs> I was going to, and then I just can't do it because I really want to just get these done and have them for, you know, in my stash, have them 100% complete. Come on, you. There you go. There we go. So I'm going to say everything's done. Everything I love. I think they all turned out really cool. And we got what? Two, four, six, seven. It's pretty good for an hour's worth of work. So guys, we're going to go ahead and say goodbye. Uh, I hope you enjoyed these. So much fun. I really enjoy these. 
uh, thanks for watching. Be sure and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. And we will see you guys in the next video. See you soon. Bye.